Hey guys, good afternoon. Andrew out here at Hilly Haven Golf Course. Hope you are having a wonderful Sunday afternoon if you're watching this as I send it out. Today we are talking about how to fix your slice. Okay, so what I want to cover here is the difference between club face angle versus club path. Okay, and the difference between path and face angle is that your arms dictate what path your ball flight's gonna start on, okay? What, what path your club is gonna travel down, what uh, direction your golf ball is gonna start at, that is dictated by arms. Your face angle relative to that path is dictated by your wrists and how those are coming through the golf balls. So what I wanna reiterate uh, when, it, when it comes to fixing your slice and getting the golf ball to go where you want it to, and we've talked about this in previous videos, but what I, what I wanna reiterate is that 80% of where your golf ball ends up is directly related to how your wrist and how your face angle comes through the golf ball. Okay, so I, I can elaborate on that if you got questions on that, um, see me. But uh, I just want to give you that 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 quick fix, if you will, uh, to, to fix that slice, but not a compensation. What I see a lot of golfers do when they're when they're trying to get their ball not to slice is they will they'll really strengthen up their, their grip. And I, I don't like to see that because I feel like that's not a correction. That's just gonna, it's just gonna put a Band-Aid on it and then make it worse you know, down the line. So what I, what I like to see when it comes to face angle, and face angle is, is pretty much all I'm thinking about when I'm getting into impact and through the golf ball. What I like to see is what most golfers do is they got this casting motion and, and because of that, is they will flip the golf club through impact and therefore they're, they're leaving their, 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 uh, their wrist here cupped and their face angle open because of it, okay? So uh, we talked about this before, but we'll talk about it again. Um, so this would be a cupped face or cupped wrist. This would be a flat left wrist. This would be a bowed wrist, okay? And so when we're coming through, what we want to get away from is that cupped left wrist, because a cupped left wrist, if you look at that right there, that's cupped, that's gonna leave our face angle way open, and that ball is gonna slice way out to the right. Okay, so the feeling we wanna try and create is actually the opposite. Feel and real are two totally different things in the golf swing, so if we wanna get rid of the cupping motion, we try and create the bowing motion so that the flat left wrist will happen and our face will be nice and square, okay? Um, so, uh, the feeling is, try and get that, that left wrist to do what I call catch the rain, okay? So, I, uh, one of my instructors down in, at the, the College of Golf, they, they, uh, they coined this term called, called catching the rain, where if we flip our hand down like this, we're able to catch rain in that left hand, but if we flip, there's no way we're gonna catch rain in that left hand, okay? So, uh, catch the rain, Get that sucker turned down. Another way to think about it is which hand is higher at impact. If our left hand is high and our right hand is low, that's gonna leave the face open. If our right hand is high and our left hand is low, that's really gonna square up that club face. We try and get those pretty dang low. So one way to think about it, flat left wrist and impact. Another, another way to think about it is which hand is higher at impact. And let's see if we can't get, uh, get that ball to do anything but slice here. Nice little baby draw, we like that. All right, so that is how to quit slicing your driver and, and irons. Uh, but I can guarantee if you, if you have trouble uh, with slicing your irons, you probably have trouble with your, uh, your driver as well. So if you have questions on this, let me know. I love to, uh, love to chat about this stuff, love to elaborate on it. But appreciate you guys watching, and we look forward to seeing you all again next week.